Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanna to talk to you about confidence. I wanna to talk to you about being confident because I, I think I've always looked at it kind of backwards because I think that I, I'm, I'm working on being confident, but I, I can say very confidently that I did not used to be confident at all. I used to be very timid, very scared, very worried that I was going to, I don't know, look silly. You know, I've, I've got kind of a big family on my mom's side, and so we go, to, uh, we go to a lot of weddings. And it used to be that one of my least favorite parts about weddings was the reception, because they would, you know, usually have a dance, and I did not like to dance. I didn't know how. And so I would just, you know, sit at the table while the rest of my family, you know, not just my mom and my brother and my dad, but like, Pretty much my whole extended family would go dance except for me and a couple of other, you know, cousins or really old people. We'd be sitting at these tables where everybody else is having fun and dancing. Now, one of my cousins in particular, his name is Jason. He's, he's kind of a lot older than me. He's like in, in high school. I think he's about to graduate, actually. And he, he loves to dance. Like he's dancing out there all the time and he's, he's really good at it. And he's having a good time and everybody around him is having a good time. It's just, it's really impressive. Like confidence just seems to be shining out of him like a bright light. And, and I... I, I was honestly kind of jealous. And one time we were at one of these weddings. Again, we go to kind of a lot of these, especially on my mom's side. And one time Jason, he was, you know, we, the, the dancing had started. And after a little while, he came down and he sat next to me because he was really tired. And he was he, he was pretty clearly just going to sit down and get back up and go dance again. But I took this opportunity. I was like, Jason, how do you know how to dance so well? And he's sitting there kind of huffing and puffing. And he thought for a minute. And then he leaned in real close and he said, I don't. And then he hopped back up and went back out there and started dancing again. And I'm sitting there. I'm like wait, what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean you don't? Like, uh, of course you do. You, 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 like, he's, he's so good at dancing. He's always dancing and he's, he's always having a good time and everybody is always like having a good time with him. He's so confident. Of course he knows how to dance. He's got to be joking, right? He's totally joking. Is he joking? I, I, I don't know. And so I, I had to, like, I, I ran out onto the dance floor, not because I was dancing. I just need, I needed to know. And so I, I ran out there and I, I, I grabbed him and I kind of pulled him down to where I was so that he could hear me. And I was like, no, for real. How do you know how to dance so well? Did you like go to school or something to learn how to dance? And he was like, nope, I just get up and dance. And I said, well, what if you look silly? And he said, oh, I'll totally look silly, but who cares? And then he started dancing again. And I'm just like standing there having this like moment, this realization that my idea of what confidence was is backwards. I thought that confident people were confident because they, they knew how not to look silly. But that's not what Jason was doing. Jason was willing to look silly, and because he was willing to look silly, he had confidence. And because he had confidence to go out there and dance and have fun, he just, you know, got better and better at dancing. And man, I still I still struggle with this, but but not as much as I used to. I used to be really, really kind of obsessed with not looking silly. Like, I would avoid conversations with people because I wasn't totally sure how that conversation was going to go. You know what I mean? Like, like I... I'd be afraid that maybe I would say something silly or wrong or whatever. Or, you know, I wouldn't do something like dancing or whatever because I'm like, well, what if I look silly doing this thing? And I felt like confidence was just something that people were born with. But it really seems like it's a choice. And a choice not to never look silly, but a choice to look silly and be okay with that. You know, the Bible says that God has, has not given us a spirit of fear. But he's given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And man, no matter what you're doing, if you let a spirit of fear control you, you're not going to have the confidence that God wants you to have in your life. God doesn't want you to be foolish or prideful, but I really do think that God wants us to be confident. I think God wants us to be willing to look silly sometimes. Because honestly, you know, like I said, I would kind of avoid conversations with people because I didn't want to, I didn't want to sound silly. But the truth is that the more conversations I have and the more I'm willing to look silly, the less silly I will look, right? It's okay to make mistakes. We learn and we grow from mistakes. And if we aren't willing to make those mistakes, then we're not going to learn and we're not going to grow. Making mistakes is a part of life. And it is absolutely necessary for, for growth, for becoming the best version of ourselves that we can be. And having that, having that new mindset, understanding that, that confidence is, is not never looking silly, but confidence is being willing to look silly and learning and growing from that. Man, when I started thinking about things that way, it, it changed everything. 
So yeah, now now at these weddings, I'll go out there and dance, and I'll and I'll look a little silly, and that's fine. But I'm having fun, and everybody's having fun too, and it's just a great time. And the more I dance, the better I get. It doesn't mean I'm ever gonna be like a a totally awesome dancer. I do think that there's like gifting. I think that there are some people who are naturally good at some things. But whether you're naturally good at something or whether it's something that you want to learn, confidence comes from practice, and practice comes from looking silly. Being good at something kind of requires that you have the confidence to look a little silly sometimes. And this can apply to all sorts of things. You know, some things that are just fun, like dancing, but it can also apply to things that are very incredibly important, like sharing your faith. So my, my challenge to you guys today is that you would be confident. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't live with a spirit of fear, but be willing to be willing to look a little silly. Be willing to make mistakes as you learn and grow and have fun. Live the life that God has called you to. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Don't be prideful or foolish, but live your life and serve God with confidence. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And yeah, are you one of those people who's like, oh man, I don't want to look silly. I don't want to mess up. Like, I think, I think that's kind of all of us, but I think it's very helpful. At least it's been very helpful to me to to recognize that, that getting good at something requires looking silly. And if you look silly, kind of who cares? Refusing to ever look silly is not confidence. That's fear. And God has not given us a spirit of fear. That fear does not come from God. God has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. God has given us himself. And God never makes mistakes, but, but he's patient with us when we do. And he definitely doesn't mind if we look a little silly while we're learning. Don't give in to fear. Live your life and serve God with confidence.